Misty Rose, so I um, appreciate the chance to perform some of my original poetry with you guys tonight for the next half hour. So thank you all very much. So here is a marker against the eye of the ink streaming against the lie. Here a pin drop, here's the sigh of the evening's best buy. Here is found the ears reply to all the voices that probe to why. Here waits a welcome for any old guy. We're new friends too, even Hector, get a high. Here all tastes get a first try before the night listeners fly. Songwriters, songwriters, poets, and comics dry to, for, to entertain for each turn they buy. Here is a ready, accepting cry where each message will not die. I'm about to share with you the uh, first poem I ever wrote about eight years ago called Giving God's Grace. The snow was sifting like confectioner's sugar sprinkled across every leaf. Such luscious beauty to behold, I did not want the children's eyes to miss. How odd that there can be such sweetness in that frosting on dead leaves. I had wondered why that oak tree never dropped all those leaves decaying. Does not need them in the dead of winter. Their season has passed. Why do people cling to miseries of the past while mercy surrounds them? There is no comfort in memories not so fond. That tree was neglected in the season of change. But I did not see a security blanket of snow insulating the old. It was a transformation. In spite of the ugliness to which we may cling, God creates in his image such beauty to behold. Did you notice? The dusk is dim, yet the tree glistens. Pubble cub cheeks and tootsie roll tubbies. And I see the love that will be nourished there too. The eyes of the children reflect the sparkle. In the cleansing purity of that gentle snow, God brings hope to vanquish despair. It is only in the cold that we could ever see such light. So that was the first, first poem I ever wrote. Uh, and then being a new poet, never having taken a poetry class or any kind of literature English class, I uh, went to what I thought was a poetry contest. I didn't know that slam, was a style of poetry, and I, you'll discover I'm not into the disrespect thing, or even the uh, cadence that slam style poetry has. But nonetheless, I made it to the semifinals in my naivety, and so I thought I'd share with you that poem that I used in that competition uh, that was here at Living Arts in Tulsa that brought me up to, through the cuts, called Egos of Texas. I had just come back from Texas where I'd written this poem, and I uh, performed it at a poetry bar in Austin, Texas called Egos. So they say Oklahoma sucks. Well, those Eagles of Texas can stay stuck in their mud. Intent, this voice will not be mute. No claim here made as tribute. Dare not, I think, to deserve acceptance. I choose not to succumb to reluctance. Back again, a nagging fear is magnified. My ears did hear. Mean bar chose to interrupt. An explanation did corrupt. Sidebar lips, please do hem it. Can't you listen for just one minute? So roughly does strike down my mask. Impatient, the bar, can I hold fast? Learn something new while you hide from view. Hypocrites, do they hate the same thing? Contempt for all outside their ring? Ideas and egos politically correct. Their own intolerance unsuspect. That underground had no love for this oaky they judged from the map above. So why am I exposed still here, trampling ideas so very near? 
Smoke dim thoughts need to upend. That is why I dare offend. Will empty hearts accept some grace when confronted in their face? Or rather than this voice chase, choice in life is always the case. A spike could continue to prevail from spotlight run foolproof as fail. Longing, hurt, and rage of poets, those who listen also know it. From a prophet or vast seer, words of truth do not feel dear. Naked perceptions, some cold and bare. Fresh observations, they don't care. At tables here, I thank your respect. Words hard to hear, yet you reflect. Artists see that this multi-liner has no tools to help for a runner to discourage or overlook defect. Primitive try you could deject, but fading courage brought fear of return. Lost dignity, what would that earn? Hecklers truly do no favor, as vulnerable souls do not savor. So before your next get on with it, have you the guts for this last minute? You risk no growth on planet stools. So who then are the real fools? So I thought I'd share a couple of spiritual points. This one's called uh, Eden's Fruit of the Moon. If you've read Genesis, you probably recognize the Cain and Abel story in the creation. Silence sits measured bare by the corded cadence that invokes candor, aspiring sounds and snare, desire that deceives the world before. Only taste the just desserts if touched by mercy first. The gift by heaven's favor has strings attached labor. Conditions control the closed mind's eye. Still senses trust a lullaby. Life corroborates the word's decree. Fruit never dies far from the tree. Seeds secure moisture intended to root. Shoots contend for which will suit. Life blood raw beyond a whisper pleads forever. You are my keeper. And in that same theme, this is called Green Scales. Your desire wafts the whispers of air, sending soft strands to share. It blooms above the dirt, wrenching rotten roots of hurt. Attaching aside the way of the vine, one path that is not yours or mine, tentacles practice belief until touching trust as no thief. A trial trips beyond giddy grasp, but allows the steady scrape to graft. Unsoiled will be the sap's delight in shared synthesis of light. Ash stored strength from fire. I am that you desire. Though tether may be tossed, I cannot be lost. So here's what I just wrote last month, going from my first ever to my most recent, called Scream. It's all of the 3D movies, I was thinking about this one. Is this a concave or convex mirror of mine, or just a funnel for specks of space and time? All life is multiplex with each one its neon sign until unseen its spiriting gas in the aura of dawn sublime. Was the audience there for the blank screen to choose 3DD or 3G access of Trinity? Ever unique in its common seek, cold empty fire finds 
your own seat? Or junior bits of a blind beyond belief in aisles that swarm for the exit line's feet? touching behind stage, they kind of influenced me to get even with a uh, boy. Uh, I was having to act very haughty in the role that I had, and so he started, I didn't mind this part that I got nicknamed the haughty haughty, uh, until the uh, circumstances occurred. So uh, he never knew I got even in, at home writing this up, but I think you'll get a kick out of it, so this is called haughty haughty. Waste not, want not, so that's what you got? Each uninvited touch deserves an instant rebuff. I'm not for the taking and I don't need your rating. Please give me my space, just what is your big race? Don't you dare try to fawn over what's too hot to handle. Again, making your pass, where's your moral compass? That your attention may linger, but that tan line ring finger was hidden to that for my interest to last. Your own is at home, so leave me alone. I feel for your wife. I'm not trading her life. Trust me, though I would expose the soul's threshold as a poet makes a scene. Don't push and pull a polarized magnet's imposition, for I would spiral past the core of incessant gravity. Don't fill up the space with retold, retailed pops, and then the silence will be sieged opaque when the saxophone sings. When skin and bones succumb on tangential legs of life, don't undress me. This is called creating value. Because I could not belong, I was adopted by the stroke of the song. There were whispers felt beyond the pitch. The matter was too rich in true form and hid its periodical value to mind. Silence marks its own golden tropic line, deep with soundings from the tropic wet hills. Even before there were ears to hear the submerged scream of primordial fear, it was colder than tungsten still. The labor of tectonic uplift came first, then creative warming after birth. Sight and sound sense the waiting to song. I'd rather smell the song's wet paint than the passing of photos to an amber thing. poet's soul, and it kind of looks like an onion being peeled if you were able to have read it instead of hearing it performed. Some memory seared moments are too raw to expose. I can only let you peek if you dare unseal some gauze. Without feeling the many meaning layers to soothe with their own stretching warp and piercing woof, it would just be sterile words of no gain. Silent scabs cannot mend another's pain. This scarred page won't disappear if spoken performance peels. The word is light. I am. So I don't know 
know if you're, any of you guys are gamers, but in case you're not, uh, do you know what GG means? Good game? Except if somebody sends you a message, GG is an insult. Because what they're saying, I learned from some gamers, is the game is great, good game, but you are so not that you would be better off to just uninstall the game. So GG is a really low dig. So when I learned that from some gamers, it kind of hit me that I think I'm going to write about what's truly good. What is goodness really all about? So this is called the 411.net. Information, please. Yahoo! Data beckons for you to choose. Creators directed intelligence sets your need in search engines. The central processing unit is mystery omniscient. Random generator that sets you free. Planned all along your opportunity. The core file is where the system hid. Only free will's choice can close the bid. An easy sale fraud was held at bay. Free uploads are here to stay. Honey scroll past all bitter, viruses all went into Twitter. Software never out of date. Phishing schemes stopped at the gate. Identity held secure in integrity. Eternal satisfaction is a guarantee. Personal protection deflects any dare as virtue's hard shield is soft to wear. Internet and shared access there is a real matrix to bless. G, P, S, God's positioning system reconciles all rebellion. An image ever on the web cannot be lost. Only the one site bears the cost and ever shall be. In truth, G, 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 once you have plugged into the call, good game, he won't uninstall. This is called You Love Me. If you think about um, whirlpools and waterfalls and rushing streams. Under wet feet, was that guttered stream sliding to bring me to this quickening? The message in the bottle wants a lifeboat and asks the bobbing cork if it can yet float. To test more waters off deck, it would have stayed apart from the neck. Though the answer shudders, I can't see the rapids for the bubbles. Rocked request shunned a leaking think tank. Where failing navigators repose or just sank. But the side pool mimes even the best to swirl and ponder with no rest. Leaves go out of the current fast while emotion sluice foams past. The eddy of mass answer seeks where the feeling peaks. The quest is on to this question Do you love me? glaciers and the sounds that they make and the water that comes from under them. They actually sound like a bowl of cereal popping when you get close to them, the way the ice moves off. So I wrote this poem uh, a few years later remembering that called Glacial Resolve. Chopping blades cross the snow fog sound. No silence pierces the womb of the swirling mist it found. December births the former first sight of oscillating ice track. It must sense the stream that incessantly carries it on its back. No fleeting crush creased the countenance. Shoulders of strewn boulders were cast to the distance. Precipices yawn and fall into their deep sleep nights and then awaken from under those steady northern lights. Encapsulated microorganisms of 
life are ready for the icicle drip to spread their genes open to rejuvenation sip an aquamarine flow that will not absorb a putrid shaded lubricant sky will form its new landscape mound nearby shrugging off the snow that would chase its resolve at the edge of calamity to the snap crackle pop echoes across the milky bowl of liquid sea from the falling in of resistance at that ice crystal fortress of solitude begins the ripple of a wave that steadily swells over all that was stood the throat rumbling responses raised to the persistent press of a pure embrace that would not leave but could retreat its pace or make this its preferred, perhaps permanent place. Slow moving glacier, ever progression, river of crystal, clarity of intention. Gears shift from a neutral shy, then over shift to overdrive. relationship being is hidden within the overt description of nature or whatever. Well, I wrote a uh, lyrics to a song a uh, uh, year ago that I'm pleased that a, uh, a rock band actually is performing on. And of course, I'm, I'm not in the band because I don't have a voice, but the uh, chorus goes something like, like uh, No, I'm not even see the chorus. My voice is that bad. Um, but, it, but it's anyway, it's, it's it's pretty hard rock when they sing it, but it's my lyrics. So, uh, what band I thought it was, it? It's called the Project Band. They're a band out of Bartlesville that sometimes comes into Tulsa yeah. to perform. So um, they uh, they renamed it Sugar Daddy's Girl. I, <laughs> they go to the something like, Sugar Daddy's Girl, I can do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Rock. Um, but I had first named it I Candy Pearl uh, before they, they took my lyrics and put the music to it. So I think you'll get a kick out of it. I Candy Pearl decorating an arm, much breeding here, not back at the farm. City girls just seem to start out early, but then they stay out late. Try to pick her up and she'll make you wait. She's a sugar daddy's girl. Her contact's green. She knows where it's at. She's kept six-digit pad at penthouse cab. It all gets paid when bills sky high. She's on a free ride. Never mind why. She's a sugar daddy's girl. She's batting her eyes and flashing her smiles. Diamonds in her hair and flaunting her wiles. Puppy strings along studded bags, just the next loser when her attention lags. She's a sugar daddy's girl. Your credit card gets a glance from her eye. Back in Jean make paparazzi sigh. She's got brand new wheels and top fashion boots. With headlight sightings and she skids and scoots. She's a sugar daddy's girl. Little black dress is packed tight in the trunk. <laughs> Fish tail in her hips, your bankroll sunk. The doctor was paid, so she'll never sag. Countess Cleavage Comtessa with a high price tag. She's a sugar daddy's girl. <laughs> so I kind of get a, a thrill when they uh, actually sing my lyrics. It's a pretty cool feeling. And then I, uh, these, these are also lyrics, although I don't know the band's actually performed them. The lead singer has uh, got a melody that's kind of like a Jimmy Buffett or Jerry Jeff Walker. It's a whole different style from the, the rock. 
And so these are lyrics I wrote after I had heard him on the guitar with this mel with the recent melody that he'd come up with. So I wrote him some lyrics. But it's not in the style of their band, so I don't think it's been publicly performed. So this is called Sunday Sunshine. So it's a, quite a bit calmer than the last one. Sunday sunshine and life is so fine. Tomorrow has time enough for all that other stuff. At the start of the day, ready for come what may, no computer or phone brings any work home. No clocks from nine to nine, I can finally unwind. Sunday sunshine and life is so fine. Tomorrow has time enough for all that other stuff. Bringing happy out of the basket, remember when we met? Kids are splashing in the water, the coals are getting hotter. My honey is at hand, toes wiggling in the sand. Sunday sunshine and life is so fine. Tomorrow is time enough for all that other stuff. No need to say please for this gentle breeze. A sweet scent, not so rare, fills the smoke-filled air. Laughing, who knows why, in this ring of love's high. Sunday sunshine and life is so fine. Tomorrow has time enough for all that other stuff. A taste of heaven shared by man and woman. A day that sets values clear, holds what matters near. From soul to moving feet, feel the music heartbeat. Sunday sunshine and life is so fine. Tomorrow is time enough for all that other stuff. Sliding by time, sucking on a lime, making this space mine. The weather is fine. Breathing sunbeams in my relaxed fit jeans. Sunday sunshine and life is so fine. Tomorrow is time enough for all that other stuff. Wow. We'll get talk about one more. Good. Because you could take this point, this would be every aspect of making a pie, but given that this work we're at a saloon, you can take it any way you want. Yeah, I like pie. Your thoughts entered the embrace, forming a foundation to fit the space. Through each major and downbeat, fingertips beat a sifted silence from the sheet. Like yeast, the core expands if you let it be warm. The clarified feelings soon spread free. Ripeness rushing as the spring of spring is carried quite carefully, held with no fling, snipping at the edges of the promised land, cinnamon's aroma and heat is at hand. Nectar drips merge with each sizzle of fire. Wrap me inside your package of desire. Thank you. I'm Misty Rose. You can uh, see my uh, other excerpts of some of my poems on the Misty Rose OK Facebook site that I've got. And again, I really appreciate the opportunity to share some of my creativity with you. God bless.